officially cut into the Overview Podcast. Yes, man, from the capital, the station is now the ultimate power in the universe, man. Overview Radio, bring you Overview Podcast with your boy Joey, a.k.a. Vorpa, a.k.a. Homasepa Amarakabe, whatever you want to call me, man, the fact of the matter is that we outside we in the building there's always a ghost behind the lens man you know how recording straight from gc yeah mr nigel <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, we have the biggest guest in the house today, man. His name is none other than... No, before then, we run this like Nigel Amos. Amos, Amos. Nigel Amos, Amos. You know, Amos. You know his name is none other than Nigel Amos. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows Nigel Amos, man. Ultimate power. How you know Nigel Amos, Momzani, Simon, Namibia. Do like as long as you are African, even out to the world, man. Globally, you know, do like he's a renowned superstar across the world. You know, um, eight hundred meter runner or athlete. You know, or both. Um, I'm eight hundred post man. Yeah. I'm doing my work. I'm delivery. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Are you still the, 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 the joint third fastest 800 meter runner? I'm still the joint third fastest. Uh, yeah. It's been um, 10 years of me yeah. sitting on that time yeah. you know, with uh, Sebastian Ko, yeah. which was knighted by the queen after that, as now you are called Lord Ko, you know? Yeah. I'm sitting the same where the Lord is sitting on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it goes, man. So, Sunita Vele say, Nigel Amu. Yeah, sure, Nigel. Welcome to the show, my guy. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, how you doing, bro? Like, how you doing? How are things like? How are you feeling today? You know? Um, I'm holding up. I'm, I'm getting by okay. I'm yeah. getting by okay. I said that. Uh. You know, the, the past days have been stressful, crazy, or yeah. you know? Uh. But uh, I'm, I'm getting by okay. I'm still... I'm still here. Yeah, like you're still, still, still in running, days, like no. you're still running it like like yourself. No, I always, we run this, we keep going. It's about the journey, my man. We're still moving, you know. Yeah. It's been a decade of me in this journey. I can't, I can't, I can't give up now, you know. I get Not it. like this. Yeah. Not like this. Definitely. How is Botswana though? I mean, I get it. You always in and out of the country. I mean, like you yeah. travel the world. How do you find our country? Like, is it is it still beautiful? Where how let that feel at peace? Can not like what is? Yeah, we yeah. No, no, no. I tell you, I tell you, about the route of pure thing. No, I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. You know, but now, 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 the guitar, now, the channel, go pay. No, you're home. You're home. The you country know. and everything. Uh. Your home is nice. Yeah, but now with how no matter what, 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 yeah man let's start it from the top i mean like that cliche conversation hella mm. we know that you're from marobella yeah. you know that's a village in Orsala. we represent the hella ever since we got to know who nigel amos is yeah. and you always got like you're always about that i'm the okay, boy yeah. from marobella so you grew up there um i grew up there i spent mm. uh all of my life come marobella got from marobella mm. uh you know, only little time I was talking about taking money, you know, and then I have to be given to my grandmother. Mm-hmm. So my grandmother raised me up and spent most of the time there. Mm. Um, farm Marovella, farm Marovella, like a weekend. Yeah. Gaula, like the first time they gave me a traffic light. I was 17 years old, you know. <laughs> Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Uh, by Francis Town. Go okay. get. And the crazy part. Uh. Marola is only 30 minutes drive from Francis. Tell <laughs> 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 me, listen. You see, Corey, that's how I was a farm boy, you know? Oh, yeah. uh-huh. I, so you grow up in that area where you never even get the chance to go step to outside go. of it. No one will take you to go out there. There's no one for you like that, you uh, know? Yeah. So yeah, I always look back at it and be like, hey, that's crazy. Bro. Ah, that's crazy. You know? And like, one thing that I've observed there, like, Corey, your English has improved, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Hey, man, I'm English as you. Do like now you can convince little like little Kim Kardashian and our one Trevor Noah. You know, said this quote and our ranga ka when I did it. You know, definitely. So were you were you the only child? I mean, from your mom and dad. Uh, no, I have two sisters and a little brother who were who was young too at the time. Me and him, we don't really go that much age difference. Mm. Um, the the the. The crazy part, I'm the only kids out there in my family that active like that does the sport, you know, like oh, yeah. outside of it. Yeah. yeah. So others when they're not into athletics. No, they're not into athletics, they're just out there on oh. other things in life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how was it like growing up without mom and dad? Um, mm. I grew, so I was taken in by my grandmother, and then they all passed away, like yearly by yearly. Like all of them. Yeah, so mm. mm. so I never go back and I never So I never go back and I never go back and I never go back and I So I never go back and 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 I never go back Mm. My cousins, my cousins, my cousins, my cousins. Yeah. yeah. Who knows what the hell like, will you guys be treated uh, uh, equally? Not really sharp, not really sharp. My, my older cousin, my older cousin, my team of football. Uh, uh, I used to be a good goalkeeper. So, ah, don't tell so, us that, uh, guys. I'm going to be a part of them. I'm going to be a William. I'm going to be a part of them. Don't tell us that. I'm going to be a part of them. 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 I'm going to be a part Hey, la, ja, yeah. nice life. Uh, hey, it oh, was so nice life. It's a mega di cha, my di ali, you know, mm. you know, and that's all that life was there, you know. Mm. Hey. Back at home, you know, like your cousins, man, you want to live in a hotel. Are you guys told no. things like that? Can after blow, you know, we go see more like one of the. I'm always been a family man. man. Oh yeah, always come best. I want to tell my cousin. One of them is the one who I came with here now. Oh okay, you know, the, oh, that's okay. my first cousin. You know, oh, that's the one who I came with here now. Oh okay, the 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 like you guys so, become close yeah yeah so yeah. like you have never had issues i worry mom and dad have by okay like i'm an orphan stuff like that i mean does it is it something that still troubles you now kind of like you've long um, i think it's something that uh, um for years and years i never really it never really came to my mind click like that in my mind you know mm. but as i grow up and trying to understand myself more and do other things yeah i find myself back into that room now yes uh-huh. yes after now this year I was like oh shit mom and dad yeah but, but growing up i really never had me my mean, grandmother gave me enough love you know and the other families raised me up can i run to live another nine kids into it's a way young pula in the body pula you are you losing a house so hey, like hey, hey, yeah why are you so my grandmother or every night body pula pula down i'm losing a house and then i was one of those kids when i was a pitch guy go man why you go in a bar or run can i balance in one of the car about to go so i was raised by family i was raised by the village Oh, okay. So I never felt the that that missing of mom and love until uh-huh. you know, certain, certain sometimes at the age where I'm now I'm like yeah but I'm I'm, I'm a trained therapist for it and you know mm-hmm. there's all oh, kind oh. of things that I'm oh, I'm okay. seeing therapist I'm trying to find and understand myself and deal with those things that uh we don't want to face but actually yeah, yeah, things yeah, that we yeah, actually yeah. have to go through yeah, that's better that's people good. you know yeah so in terms of um you call up ping on time because you mentioned that man to Abu Jang play in mm-hmm. so. Economy wise, one of all the classic and all the other. I'm like a good stock in my pele, on a park. No park. Every Christmas, Nick, I'll go to the park. Christmas, so oh, I went to the hotel, the hotel, and all. Yeah, yeah the, the government have raised me up. I had the card, you know, near the uh-huh. park. Yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, but it has never affected you. Nah, like, it never affected me. Like that. I've always been, you know, it's a. Uh, I come from nothing. I have nothing to lose. From oh, where yeah. I come from, the moment I left my house step, I see the traffic lights a mile away already. <laughs> <you know? laughs> <laughs> already so, yeah you know, so it's uh it's always been a motivation you know yeah. it's always been a uh, for me i see myself as a I'm a fun boy. I always call myself fun boy. Yeah. Akia koma rove la kila la malita la koma rove la kora malita ka ukacho hale ana la na kaki tiko kubo ni bampo na someone la kora kutsa ya ah every day la kutsa muto cho ngo South Africa ta kwa na varu mara la bobli la kora kacho ya ngo ni. I live there. I don't visit. I know that. Yeah. I know everything. Yeah, you know? everything. For me, I see myself with that kind of boy to say I want to show the kids and all of, from all kind of lives you can walk through it. You know, mm. I used to be that boy in Alivella. From machine I hit a local farm. I don't tell any streets. It's a city on that flight. You see? Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is that we had Isaac Makwala here the other time. Lena Gonagola thing. 
Una na wana play na re on the street. Yeah, you see, yeah. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> our sports one of things with our sports like that. Has like side like wana pack la ma pack la na option of breakfast at Conflex in the little brown thing. Yeah. No, man, so so we it ta la man. Strike. Eh, we it strike le go. O re sa five so so we it strike. So like was it um athletics? No, before then, let me ask you this, ne? Uh in terms of I mean you are a Kalanga man. I'm a Kalanga man. Yeah. I'm a proud Kalanga man. You know yeah, you're a proud Kalanga yeah. man. I mean were you always invested into the Kalanga culture? Um, uh, um, the Kalanga culture is it's 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 my values, the base of my values as a person first, you know. Yeah. So I will always carry them because that's what make me who I am first. When everything around me, uh, how am I responding to this? My response will come based from my values, the foundation of my values. How I was raised up, my grandmother, everyone how I look at things. Yeah. So yeah, I've always been raised in the Kalanga values, but I don't think there is most of these we could say kalanga values mm. it's all just sito yeah sito hey, yeah that's how yeah, that's yeah. i look at it apparently kalanga men are good lovers is it so my man it's like a piwa man eh ora ka tele kwa le mogale mla ene it's like a piwa it's a piwa a tara ba be tsherra ba ka piwa ba bunya ba duela sala it's like a piwa What's that? What is that a fear? Nature. In all departments. <laughs> so my guy, uh, was athletics the first? Oh no, kind of like you mentioned that on yeah. Otameka ball. Yeah. You were a goalkeeper. Yeah. Oh, what was your first love between bolo and athletics? No, ball have always been my first love. It's the first sport I could play at home. I won, oh. you know, let's make a socks, let's ring. And then eventually, I say my, my brother had a team. I, I started to play for the team. You know, we win, started to go. Uh, football then came something that I played for a very long time until it's an ordinary. Yeah. You know, and uh, I remember one of the time, you know, nearly Funa Cup. You know, there used to be Funa Cup because school. Funa, eh? Yeah, there used to be Funa Cup. I think it was because of the Cup, you know, Funa Cup. Every class plays. Eh. So I was a striker and the Funa Cup. I'm a good striker, you know, and I moved from thing. I played, so far my stats, I played 33 games. I scored 29 goals. Ah, Everyone can prove. Ah, nice, eh? Everyone can prove. You know, you're a lander. Everyone can prove. When I went to the Malo, I got a game inside the youth, inside the NT. I scored head trick. Head trick. Simple, you know. I love soccer, man. I love soccer, but, um, The bottom line of it, Nikola Horek, and soccer is 11 men, you know, we're both motivated by different things back and what we, Arago Robal are not hunted by the same men, the same DPS, you yeah, know, yeah. and all those. Yeah. So one time, there's some game, and Clive Lesson Malita, Malita is Raha, have I seen your effort, wait, have I seen your effort, and then I realized, you know, for me, I think, let me bet it on myself, let me do a sport that could always be on myself. But then, I had a cousin who was fast, who, I, who I brought me here, who I came with now here. Hey. So that guy was fast, my friend. Mubolonga. No, no, come hey. on, he's the athlete, my man. Oh. So, every day, I said, no, I'm going to see you, I started to turn out, I'm going to see you, and then I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you, house competition, and I'm going to see you, and I'm going to see you. What's the game? So, I'm going to see you, and I'm going to see you, and I'm going to see you, during this period of time. Oh. So, I ended up going, pass on my form three, and I'm going to see you. Yeah. Played so Kakoma Cornella. Wait, you passed your form three? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm fucking went to school, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> ไม่ได้เออเซอร์มาร์คทําไมเอ็นบีสตูเรนต์อ่าอ่าเอ้ยเฮ้ยอ่าเพราะเรื่องเพราะเรื่องแม่แล้วเอ็นจะมาเอ
you go to the track u simulotse re ise fe mpile like o no ntso itse apa go rona le chest like ona le stamina kana o no le keletsa tsedi mo pele no my first race in the in the top round actually 5000 ke ta go le top round i won i have a have a national championship i made a national championship ke go le national top round ya di skolo ne ke bidwa mako polo pe ne ne ke ke etsa race ke tsama ke bidise ya ke etsa ne ke tsama ke ntsana ino ke koma khone ne ke bidwa mako polo e tsa re mako polo and the top round i did step chase ba tsama ba tola ba tsena mo metseng e le no Uh, hey. Yeah, and then one of the races in the Rizoko in the disco competition to go rapa. My coach was like, "Hey man, I could run like 800." And then, and then like the uh, uh, really my face. Hey, hey, hey. He says, "Um, you know, let's tell me, man, your finish is good because I always catch these boys at the end." Mm. So I run like 800. Maintain time and finish second round. You know, the, mm. the top guy that time in the country in the late don't go thing or that is a You know, so I'm uh, such a great talent. You know, yeah. so let's say I go rapa like I like ah, we get taka yoni ki win. Oh, taka yoni. That's 152. 152. It's a good first time hey, for the first hey. time in that age I was. Uh, how, old you? how old are you? How old were you then? Um, like what about? Akira, 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 one fifty-two, Nigel, seventeen years old. Wow, seventeen years old and that. So yeah. I started there because I won when I won Botswana Olympic medal. I was eighteen years old, you know. Mm. So that's why. I go around the Copa Nalo Tware, but how you talk Niger? I'm thinking of Santa Tavo Homoton. No, Uncutula Santo Ho, but I'm like Natal and Nagalunyan. So I've been there, I'm consistent. Yeah, no, true. See, what's because, the missing? Yeah, you're like, that's true, huh? What's the missing the point? Because they say, some of them they say, since I had this guy named Kilko Primary School, uh, uh, no, uh, I was not only, I was not that old, I was 18 years old. Yeah, Just yeah, that I've been yeah. there for 10 years, for a decade, I've been consistent, I've been there, I've been hearing my name. Mm, yeah, so yeah, now you think, Mtika, Jotadi, you're like, Santa and Kavali Brazil. You see how you see? Yeah, yeah. So like, you've been in the game ever since so long yeah i've been there mm. from 18 years old there's been a decade how old are you now i'm 29 today oh you're 29 yeah oh okay well 94 94 yeah oh okay yeah. all right all right no i like that's that's dope man shout out to you bro. that's my brother so yeah from there i'm um, already running from scale i know how it's like like the time that you go to realize or you know what i have to take a athletic series killing no, yeah like it's a form 5 kana be ka go ne old dude i know it's a form 5 kana or ra ra tswa ko makhonela no and then i went to stay with my brother golobatsi i was a nurse golobatsi that time of period so i joined, Your brother. I joined yeah my, uh-huh. my cousin okay. so i joined i joined i joined the i joined the, the trek and like we record actually a kind of like we started the group there mm-hmm. and then we were training golobsek ke spelena go golobatsi ke train golobsek and then there was a race called go go mulepolole that race that's when i qualified be standard of the olympic re train go go ne go mulepolobatsi be standard of the olympics this time that's like it's you you come in but you know it's a thing called you come in you can come in when you run this time oh. so then i was given an opportunity to join the national team camp proper training proper structure now and everything then that's when i hit it on i never mm. looked back yeah from that time yeah from there and then i hit it on qualified for the olympics eventually that year qualified for the olympics with a with a, a standard you know i yeah. went to the olympics at second fastest man in the world you know before then has there always been the money Like before, we qualify the Olympics. Can I not like? Oh no, just saying from athletics. Can I? Oh no, so ah no, no, it's not mine. Nagi just saying, oh god, the god, the god, the labor. Nagi say, Nagi rather, Nagi. I built some couple of houses. Then Nagi do what that got me. Still, I can't speak at home. So the pizza, I'm not ready to be at home. I'm not ready to have a good car. I don't think. No, the pizza, I'm not ready to shop ahead and keep myself going. Oh, so like, oh no, so tabu haka, oh no, so shop ahead. Hey, why hustle? Like, cause you need to get equipment. You know, and sports equipment is just too rare. And then you come from that. And since I have some three G C P, lo 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 ko roje, no. Yeah. I have some three. You know, but likely I had people around me who were supportive. You know, my friends yeah. were supportive. You uh-huh. know, lava na wanza. You know, na lekile piwa hela, but then eventually, le rabu na piwa tini yaka. Yaka, yeah. So, so what are the other odd jobs in the world? Like, any, you decide to hustle. So, I get it. You mentioned that on Dubai, da on Oar. So you are a builder. When I'm a builder, I built some couple of houses in my village. That's it. Tona na ri tsetsi fo mfa go le di tsetsi na spana le rera. Ta dankeni ne le ba boya ta dankeni ke spana ke hasela, you know. I've 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 come from hustle, you know. So what right, else have you done besides you know, kana wena like no better stay? No, ne ke better ne ka go ne ke hiriwa ke ra puta di tonke le itaka. Ona le tonke tsedi pe kantse go ta di puta. No bitsa rona le itaka, ne ra go di puta la rata ka tsone o mphatse ke aka. Ka go lema, go lema, go rome te lantsa ne yane le go roba lema, go lema. Hector Rataka ke bokana. Na le malita ka nerna le tonkela tse 16 mere betsa hela fo foretsa mari ra Hector ra ra amogela majela sente. Re siama e no re le mahala ka di tonki sente. No I come from Hasli te ke tse ha sela bo. So like you can still survive even out, uh, outside uh, athletics. Yeah I was raised no, I can still survive out of mm. athletics. Kalanga men eh eh. Ok tora ga te ile kalanga men ha hasla sar. Eh no ra ah nka se la letala temwe. Definitely. Yeah guys um as you know 
we're shooting this episode out in Saikat Palm Hospitality in Khaburone, Botswana. It's located in Block 8, to be precise. You can see, man, like the background is amazing. Affordable accommodation, the garden is green, the pool is very clean, there's a bar over there. It's like a Zoro, like a Sansone. Sansone, no. Sansone, no. But how's the place, though? I'll go over here, the place. Yeah, yeah, like, how's no, the place? No, it's calm, it's calm. I love the serenity, I love yeah. the, 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 the colors combination, you know. Yeah. It's calming, it's calming. Everything. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, so, what are you Zoro? I get what are you A guy from Marobella. Stuff like that, yeah. but mm. Obviously, what I was Obviously, yeah. Yeah. no, no, that's not what made me popular. Oh, okay, I was already popular, man. I <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. hey. That's about seven kilometers oh, okay. uh, and fourteen kilometers to go and back. Yeah. So every morning, I pack like it's so I get a little bit of a little bit of So you walk? I walk. So one of the morning, I get a little late. I get a gravel road. So I get a little bit of 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 so I jumped off the car. I had broken hands, two all broken hands, man. My broken hand. I lost my front teeth. My boys were broke that ribs. So I remember the first day I came to work. Class I got it. I was <laughs> and, and, uh, and so I did my, my all my. I became famous being the toothless boy in the school. And I was, I was proud about that. I was proud about it. I didn't hide it. I could yeah. go and assemble. I was no. Yeah. From form one to form five, I didn't have teeth. You know, I was toothless guy. So wait, no, I filled. I put in the bridge. I filled in. You know, I just like it's an I tire like Jimmy Noel. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm, 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 it was something that could have come and killed my confidence. Yeah, but true, I, I found true, power true. on it. Yeah, you know? yeah, when it, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, I became I was famous boy like that, man. Mm. Uh, but some of the races I ran international, I was still toothless. Is my it? first clip in, in and out teeth I got them go go Pretoria, like 2012. Just maybe four months before the Olympics. For real? Yeah, one of the guys there would say, okay, let's do something for you, and then do something, and this one's a fix them when I was wow. in the US proper. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now. You added something now on mm. your childhood, or like you were a truthless kid at some yeah. point. Ne? Yeah. So, banana ballet thing. I mean, do like at what age did you break your virginity? Well, from five. From five. Like, mm. I'm not sure I'm not I'm not sure I'm not i not i not I'm not I'm not sure I'm not i not I'm 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 not Strong famous man, Rubu, Rilvana, Ripanka, you know. Yeah, yeah but hey, man, I can only give me them when they. Can I get to the Bella Camas with them? Can I get to the Nella Samsa Mele 250? Can I get to the Nella Samsa 250? For real? Wow, 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 wow. So, like, what's your name? Nella Sharp Sharp. No, Nicholas Sharp. Come five for who? Yeah, I had confidence. I uh, could do us out there. Yeah, Nicholas Sharp. Yeah, hey, like, you know, nice. No, Nicholas Sharp. Uh, ah, dude. Ah, man, I do. Like, I never knew a lot of. Things about no, you, though. I was the toothless kid, man. <laughs> from one to from five, I was that toothless kid. In school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So back to track, yeah, no. Um, Olemukile lingor. Okay, fine. Hoda zagai thing. Kira in terms of money, like when was that time? Uduela something. Koro ya no realize ako I can live off this thing. My first, uh, my first paycheck in the twenty thirteen. So what happens like uh, I make a good racing way. Actually, there's some other team who's won a little bit. Twenty eighteen. Twenty twelve. Oh yeah, yeah, twenty twelve. Twenty twelve. Twenty twelve. I think in the go go Germany where I went to qualify uh, actually A for the Olympics. Mm. And then in the morning I had a knock on my door. It was mm. my, my manager. Mm. So this guy was managing me and uh, I recycled the racing, I rerail all. You know, the guy was doing the logistics. Mm. I uh, knocks in my house, it comes with a Nike contract, you know. I'm a Nike a contract. Boy, you haven't seen, wow. you haven't seen figures and numbers. Wow. Wow, yeah. So you see hey. the figures and numbers, like, yo, Talayata Mayamus. 
<laughs> you see, um, but then uh-huh. the crazy Manage part, it. which is something uh-huh. that I learned, uh-huh. I'm happy. I don't want to go through the things. I don't want to talk to anybody. I sign, but that was shit. That was shit contract. Yeah. <laughs> so Imagine, bit, where were you then? Like I was in Germany in Benin. Oh, in Germany. Yeah. Okay, like the contract comes from like it comes. There's an agent that comes. You get yeah. the contract. How much? Yeah, yeah like, it was. It's a shitty contract, man. It was eh. not that. It was fifteen thousand dollars, about hundred and fifty thousand. Oh yeah, like hundred and fifty k. Yeah. But then so you that was like the base salary. Like okay, in a year we'll give you hundred and fifty k, which is base in salary. In a year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, oh. which was for the time I was around one fifty three eleven. I'm second fastest in the world now. Mm. Olympics are coming. Mm. I have world <coughs> are coming into, mm. and what I learned as a grower, if I could have waited mm. and run the world junior. Which is I was two weeks before after signing the contract. I want the oh. whole journey after that. My contract team, the value is going to go up. If I could have waited and then run, sign it after Olympics, because two weeks after I won Olympic silver, which was the first Olympic. So, but one of those actually two weeks before I won the Olympic silver, silver with one. I won first ever gold yeah, with Botswana in, in World Juniors. Mm. Oh, like you in World Juniors? Yeah, I've become oh, the first okay. World Junior champion from Botswana. No, from no, Botswana? Two, three weeks before okay, we had the second Silver Gold Olympic. Yeah. Oh, Olympics. You know, so I think if I could have waited and get there. But again, the risky part of it, mm. you don't sign. Mm. Next day, get injured. You have to wait another year to be up there and get a contract again. Mm-hmm. You see, also, it, like they cannot sign new Linja. It's, 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 it's a gamble game. What, what gives us guarantee you're going to do it again? Mm. You know, once you sign, they please sign, you know. Mm. So, but then, luckily enough, God works in the miracles way. The guys were, you no, know, I, I went on, I won the, the, the World Junior, I won the Olympics. And then the contracts were reviewed, and then I was given what I deserved, what the, world, what the level of the world was, you know. Yeah. That was around how much? No, can't do this. Zaka, 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 So, 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 let me ask you this: Why do you feel worried that con- like that first contract was shitty? Was it because of the value I think, Kana, the stipulations that they? <coughs> the promise of the future that I was showing mm. from what my results and the the the. the um, why I was, I ran 153 level, 143 level, I mean, I mean 143 level, I was second fastest in the world behind Rhodesia then. Mm. You know, so it was, there was a lot of The Kenya around. Rhodesia? Yeah, yeah, you know. And so, I, I have, it, it was one before I could even race him, you know, so I mm. was still in there. So I went to the Olympics as the second fastest car, like, yeah, go mm. behind Rhodesia. Rhodesia had 14310, I had 14311. Mm-hmm. Just like a little bit of like Murillo hand thing, you know. Because Gordana goes are not that weird counted. So yeah, um, the contract, I feel like it could have been better or have better benefits on it. Mm-hmm. You know, look mm-hmm. at the environment the way. If I could have sat down, better could be or no. And I get to go high. Mm. I need good training basis. I need to do, could have negotiated to a point level of like, guys, if, let's start at the foundation, the fundamental. Give me the, the platform first to be able to deliver more results. Mm-hmm. Are we talking about you can have a training camp? I can do all those kind of things. Let's start there. I started to go more before. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. 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 So those kind of things, I think they, think they should have been put in place. And on the support that would feed you, body dietitian, mm-hmm. body psychologist. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. So those kind of things at that age, you don't think about them because you don't think you need them. You know. Mm-hmm. So I look back, I say mm-hmm. that. I needed that advice or no, it was. Eh? But yeah, everything was fixed after my Olympics. So, okay, then tell me, okay, Rory, as an athlete by that time, mm. now obviously, like you have upgraded your, your team, I would like to believe that. But yeah. as an athlete around that time, Kara, I get that other athletes, you want to know, like, and Manager, like, and someone from Botswana, kana someone out there. For you to have a manager, you have to go professional. Like mm. Being professional, that means you got to be in top 13 in the world or something like top that. Let's say, let's cut the top 13 in the world. Yeah. Mm. So top 13 in the world. There's, there's a rank of top 10 in the world, top 13 okay. in the world. Yeah. You got to be, you got to be, even the IWF rule says, if the athletes in the top 13 in the world, that's when they need an agent. Yeah. So if you know top 30, you can just keep on running, making times, and getting, eventually get the agent. That's uh-huh. how it, you get an agent once you become professional. Oh, okay. So most of the guys that we have here in the country, by Long Rebo Scorch, Rebo Manderson, that do they have managers now? Yeah, they do have agents in top 30 in the world, you know. So, more athletics in Asian, they are manager, and there's an agent, and then they manager, or, or what? Unfortunately, the system, I think, you know, it's kind of like a. Also, you grow up, I can evaluate the law, learn about the law, and 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 the and then two days before I have it, after I have a race again in, in London, you know, yeah. so I'm running, sleep, next day, jump in a flight, go to London. Mm. 
So when I was at the airport, something, flight. So something when I was at the airport came into my mind, actually it's working. Uh. Take Simon. <laughs> right on to me like a race. I get all on to me like a race. That's his job as an agent. He negotiated the deals and everything. Uh-huh. Okay, Mutikawa Hutan. This is kind of because the job of the agent is like, okay, Nigel is here. Mm. He's in this kind of shape. He will come to a race. This will be his appearance. If he run this time, this will be his bonuses. And mm-hmm. this is this is what he needs. This is what his hospitality, those kind of things, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then close the deal and they send you the flight ticket to jump in, you go there into mm-hmm. your job, you know. That's the you negotiate your deals with Nike, your shoes, like the deals with that. Yeah. Oh. But what I feel like it needed to be extended more is the outside endorsement of the sports life. Especially coming from Botswana. Mm. We do, there's no African agent, there's no Botswana agent. All of them, they Europeans, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we are managed by Italians. So back now, when Ulmohai, who is there to utilize your kind of thing? Like your you can't yeah. do that when you're running around. You gotta train every day, you're training, you know? For yeah. instance, you mean that, uh, like the type of agents that you have, they will negotiate your sports deals. There's no sports deals. But outside sports, for instance, let's say like, so we need to endorse yeah. it, stuff like that. I want someone who know what like you know, he can, now you like have to have another come. agent. You have to bring another team, which is for me what I did. I build a team, you know, uh-huh, an agent. Uh-huh. We build a team to say, okay, let's have a team here, mm. so that we can make this all 360 degrees. I know, can I only agent He's there in my life mostly for the past five for five months in life. But tough months. It's a tough year. I mean, it's hey, tough months in the thing. I can walk like tough months again. Mm. So the guy is there for five months, kind of active for five months. Once in a while, yes, he'll check me on other months. Mm. But I need to be able to do other things too. In keep Bultuana, people brand, in, around yeah. them. Yeah, around, yeah. yeah, that's a gap, huh? They're like that's a business that's gap a that gap, can, but be explored. can be yeah. explored. Can be explored, Definitely. Big so, one. let me ask you this, ne? Kabo, kabo. The deal is about Nike. Mm. So as for Nike, but when I contract the little one like two hundred thousand US yeah. dollars again, yeah. from there when I all you do, you have to do it. When they allow it, like it's just to market them. Yeah, all you do is wear that. It's a shoe contract. The contract, shoe contract. Uh-huh. It's wear the shoe and the clothes, of course. But it's a shoe oh. contract. Call the shoe contract because the shoes you run with. Uh-huh. The most important is the shoes. Oh, the shoe contract. It's the shoes run with the shoe contract. It's the shoe contract, Robin. And then oh. the your duties to wear the clothes here and to co-compete in the races. You know, there's the minimum races that required to compete in a year and those kind of things. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay, let me put you on the spot here, um, Nigel Amos. Ne? I'm always in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a star, boy. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Currently in the country, we have um a kid called. Little mm. you know him, mm. the fastest kid, uh, like sprinter mm. around. Yeah, I know him. You know, yeah. So, we always have this conversation as Botswana. Hore, the best thing for Litili. Some say the best thing for Litili is to leave Botswana. I have somewhere. I say you have somewhere. Maybe was girl like I want somewhere like mm. stay far away from Botswana. I concentrate on my and stuff like that. Yeah. Some say you know the kid is still young. He needs to be in Botswana. I want to in the country like for hasana mm. hola pela we need you yana ke gona ka re locating what is your take on that i mean as someone who is experienced in that field for me it's a uh, first thing i think first question would be like mm. do we have this kid as a star yeah what takes to make him the world star mm-hmm. that'll be my first question to put yeah, to the table yeah yeah yeah, yeah. how do you create a world star yeah First, it'll be like that, and then yeah. start from then, put the foundation of the world star. Yeah, tell you create a team around them. I say the guy like that will need to have a team around them. Mm. Treat them like the world star that you see on him to build him to that world star. Mm. For me, I give the kids time to grow, develop like that. I will take you back a little bit and tell you the kid is a talent that I've never seen. Mm. But the kids that are passed to us have been a talent that I've never seen that has been better than me. Mm. There's this kid called Karabo Sivan, then yeah, Karabo Sivan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those kids are talent I've never seen too in my life, you know? Mm. I, my question is like, the same excitement, we were excited when those kids come in the scene. Mm. What did you do for them? Mm. If now, my second question would be like, we want to be literally be a superstar. For me, I'll say, say 2028 Olympics. Mm. That give, us, that give us the Olympic, you don't just work up. I don't think Olympic is a six years, five years work deal. Mm-hmm. Developing the person to get there. Mm-hmm. This first question is say, okay, one little to win the 2020 Olympic Games, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to use a little example because there is that, we, this potential we said. Mm-hmm. For little to win the 2020 Olympic Games, mm-hmm. what should we do for the, him? Mm-hmm. If you ask them now, what should we do for them? Which means now we've got to make sure he's going through the channel, saying it right, he's okay, he's going mm-hmm. through the gears, you know? Mm-hmm. 
mm. on all of that. Mm. And but for us, we kind of forget the whole aspect of like building focus more into results. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once we become results oriented, mm. you know you're gonna lose touch in other small things that actually were important on the journey would get given you mm -hmm, results, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think for us, Botswana, we are kind of focusing on result oriented. Result. You want to get results. You see a football team here, winner, King is a winner, African. We don't look at the journey, the steps of it. And athletics is a very crazy sport, my friend. I tell you. The fastest time I got to like 2012. I have not come close to it until 2019. Mm, mm, mm. So it's, it's, it's a very crazy part of it. The growth of the sport, the high analysis. There's so much complexity in most sports. I said people now, I'm going to go to the train. I'm going to go to the train. I'm going to go to the train. You know, listen, people feel like they know you. They could say some things, but they don't know the feeling. They don't know what you have to get through to go there. Mm. You know, if you understand athletics doesn't have social life. You know, athletes don't have social life. Mm. You train Monday to Sunday. You get to train, you get to go to the Eye, you know, mm, mm, mm. so all of those things they need to be put in place for you to be able to kind of feel like you live life, you're part of life too. Mm -hmm. I've been away from my family for 10 years now, you know, mm, mm, so it's, it's those kind of things. I think we need to go back to the basis and say, What big question is like, what really makes a superstar that we see in this kid we have here? Mm -hmm. Like the potential I think that the we body, see. It, the in question him is, now. body should be set there from start from there. Mm. We see a superstar is here, the kid. Mm -hmm. What really makes to, to make the superstar the world a star? And then put things in place, put the right people in place, put experts in place. Mm. The other thing is that when you have a superstar, you can't have a volunteer taking care of a superstar. Mm. Have an expect in that line of superstar, line of it, and be able to know what be done in that area. Mm. You know, if I volunteer, run, I don't have the really what it takes to reach it, to be matching the superstar. Mm. And I'll tell you that the athletes have outgrown the organizations. Mm. I'll tell you the same in industry, nature, in every industry, Botswana, the artist, the, the all of all, every creative creativity have outgrown the platform of creativity in Botswana. Mm. So they don't know how to manage it. They don't. That's why I say I said to someone, it's time you commercialize it. Mm, mm. No, that way when you commercialize creativity, commercialize talent, then we have a way. Mm, mm, you know. Mm. Yeah. So like that, that team and aspect for Little mm. as an example. Yeah. It's one of the responsibility people around him, kind of the government or both. Rapele pizza, pizza ke mo ison ka reta je ga thata. Mm. Pizza ga tai butswa di jobe di jua. Mm. Mo mo go mo go lo kwa no monte fla ne ya ni mo thonela ni sirele le nte o heta rothe mo tafoli ke mang. Monya. Monya di kra go ke le monya da ke mi mo tsai o le gore ke no tisa nke ke o jang ke ke heta mo go bona ngo nte kwa ke le hatsa ke. Eh ke le ha malome malome ke na. Malome ke na ja. Ke re na re nela mo malome di suti re. Malome ke na ja, you know. If you see a superstar like that, I think it's it's time it's become a national asset. Yeah, like he becomes a like yeah, an ambassador yeah, like exactly. He's become care. a national asset now, he become a national figure or no. He's there in the budget of the of the thing. Leito Kio is a national asset to put things on him. Mm. You need to create that thing that, that to be able to create superstars that'll be able to stay the super world of it and spend time. Mm. Treat them as the national asset. Just as you treat the ambassadors and ministers. Mm -hmm. That same level mm -hmm. of it. Mm. You know, if you look at it, creativity, artists, and all those, we are the ones who are selling the country better. We are ambassadors, my man. Mm. You know, if there are countries where politics news will never reach, but sports, we're in China for the Olympics. News are open every in China. Which one was there? News we're getting there. Mm. We, if you want to penetrate in the world, my friend, there's no any tool you can use mm. apart from creativity mm. and industry mm. talent. You know, you can't. definitely. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Back to you now, Nigel mm. Amos. 2012. Yes, sir. 2012, like that's the year that we got to know you. Mm. Well, like most of us, Kerelori, but battling outside the athletic scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olympics, they were in London. Yeah, in London. Yeah. Yeah, 2012, Olympics, the first ever, and. I think it's still like still the, the only, only. still yeah. the only individual, man. <laughs> still, still the only, only individual one. We have a relay one, yes, but it's still the only individual. Yeah, the first ever individual and only. Yes, sir. Olympic. Put that respect on my name. Ring the bell, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, the first ever and only individual Olympic medalist or medal yeah. was won by Nigel Amos. Yes, sir. In 2012. Yes, sir. Olympics. In London. Yeah. Take us through that, my guy. Like, before that race, Hela, were you... Okay, fine. Going into the Olympics, Hela, yeah. going to qualify. 
Now Did I was, you ever think was, that, you know, I do like I can nah, like I can do this? Now nah, I was already got my goal of the year that year was to win the World Junior, you know? Mm. The World Junior in 2012. In um in 2011, I had I posted this status on my Facebook series. Next year I'll be in Barcelona making my country proud. Yeah. So I kind of spoke it <laughs> into existence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was there across the line, I win the Olympic. I mean I win I win the World Junior. Yeah, World Junior. Uh, it's there. My dream have achieved what I've been working for. But yeah, I've qualified for the Olympics. I, I three weeks from here, I'm going the second fastest in the world behind mm. Rhodesia. Mm. You know, for me, going to the Olympic was to see the superstar. And I was saying, I'm saying, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, for me, it was to see the superstar. Yeah, you saying Bolt was there. My first time in London. Yeah, man, you know. I want to be out there and enjoy it. No, no. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I for me, you, you, you already did enough, boy. You are 18 years old. You have time. You did enough. Mm, Get to the Olympics. Yeah. You know, and enjoy. Just, just enjoy. Yeah, flow enjoy. with the flow. Yeah. I got in my first round of the Olympics. Uh, I've, I've, I won my first round. Mm. My second round, I become it was second. I was second. So which means, hey, I'm in the final. Mm, mm. You know, anything happen final. I'm still second. Remember, I'm second fastest in the book. Then yeah. so that's final. <laughs> yeah. So and the crazy part that happened that day. Uh, it was the first time he speak to me. Came to me. Say, young boy, today I'm killing. Yeah. I'm going for it. I'm going for a record. <laughs> yeah. So butter your bread nicely. <laughs> so butter your bread nicely, say, in 800, we say, you are given a, 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 a teaspoon of butter. Yeah. And uh, a slice of bread. Uh. So make sure that it reaches that butter reaches every corner of the bread. Yeah. So you are going two laps. Make sure energy spread evenly in those two laps. You know? uh-huh. <laughs> so that's the concept behind it. That's how we yeah, look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, hey, butter your energy. Use your energy properly. Butter your bread nicely. Mm. I'm going to kill. Don't follow me. Mm. He went to me and he went to the other Kenyan junior, which was Kip Tum too, was 18 or eight, same age. He just came back from the old junior. Rote was my second from there. Yeah. I'm like, ah, okay. Then something my man's like, hey, you are here to find your brother legs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got into the race, you know. Red bell goes. Red shava it's a haka na abu amu na. Hey, like was already, abayi choma kope. There was already a fight created. So I learned and I da there was oh, Muhammad Aman was there when I see the red shava before. Yeah, yeah. Kaki yeah. was there when I see the red shava before. They think today we're gonna get our Olympic gold, you know. Yeah, yeah. So now there's a fight there. I'm not part of it. I'm hey, a junior. I'm a kid. I'm I mean, there. like, but hey, mutu, hey, hey, mutu, hey, hey, like you're not part of the conversation. Hey, mutu, drive and me umple le zore. Like, can can I'm all hurry today? Kosi gora ora na malu hurry. So now I stayed back. Um, the race went first lap. I sent forth first lap, and then we get to back straight. I see the guys walk up in the car, they start to change the posture, so that means they... Why do they, I they, I see Rodisha keep on moving. That yeah. means uh-huh. they can keep up with him, you uh-huh. know? Uh-huh. So I was like, okay, outside, swing nicely, mm. swing outside, trying to get help. Last time I hope like you like okay, you are in the, you are there in medal, but energy is to hell. If you look at it, last <laughs> last two meters, five meters, they are slowed down, because get energy to hell, like it collapses, you know? You turn up, it's pretty there, and then... So that's like across the line, didn't take so long. I walked to the flag after I picked the flag. I felt that I collapsed there. Fainted, so no. Is it so? Yeah, no, uh, I was I took an out of Kaka. Hey, can sit so I woke up in the oxygen machine, you know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, and then and um I ran 141, man. That was yeah. in the world, you know. Yeah, what yeah, in a yeah. record? Yeah. We just broke a world record. No. The guy who was last in the race could have won the past three Olympic Games. Mm. Uh, this uh, time uh. could have made him won the past three Olympic Games. Yeah. So we just won, ran one of the most uh, fastest races in the world, in you know, mankind, you know. Uh. So we're out there, um, Kitsohamo Oxygen Machine, even like a kind of foggy, I forgot. Um, the guy, my manager, Niki Lele, and who was Mr. Rakaro, was the president of Federation Day. Mm. You did it, boy, by my bed. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> you did it, boy. <laughs> So wait, no. so wait, tell me. So like, when you finished the race, you were not aware that you're number two. Um, they, they, I could see the result, but for, for the second, and then they started to come blurry every oh, second, yeah, and, and then, then you, you go out, yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm. You know, and then go out. We did it, and then from there, oh, you won. I'm like, oh, you know, like, oh, started to catch it, and then, yeah. And then. Yeah. Essence. Yeah. What are you, what are like, what are you, 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 it's on thing. You know, uh, definitely. Hey, what well, So, like, you deserve everything hey, that the king hey. deserves. Exactly. You know? uh. Hey, hey, what well, uh. Hey. So, my guy, tell me this, man. Uh. Could you mm-hmm. I get it. There's that podium thing. Yeah. National anthem. Like, who was number one? Rodisha. Rodisha. Hey. Obviously, we're going to the national anthem. Yeah, yeah, king, yeah. yeah. Like, we're going to put you on number two. Yeah. Like, we're going to put you on number two. Yeah. Like, we're going to put you on number two. Yeah. 
How did that make you feel, bro? The sad part, I, I don't think it's sad actually. Let me say the sad part. Not yeah. the crazy part, the gore. I, 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 I kind of bounce back on all the moment feelings. Mm. Three years after, two years after. Mm -hmm. In 2015, I won everything in 2012. In 2015, that's when one time things, fuck, you did that at 18 year old boy. Mm. You were there. Mm. So it kind of hit me years after what I did. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. then the poem, I think I was, I was there. Mm. I was there in the moment. Yeah. You know, yeah, I was yeah, there yeah, in the yeah, moment. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Just back, I look back, I'm like, oh, holy crap. Dog, oh, I did this. You did that. You yeah. know, <laughs> I did that. Like, I did that. Like, I did that. Like, I did that, boy. Yeah. yeah. You know, that <laughs> feeling. I didn't yeah. really rush. I could feel it. I did yeah. that. You know. Mm. So, like, who was the first person that you spoke to in Botswana? I guess you were out there in London. Like, who you, like, make sure you have to reach out first? It's my family. Yeah. And I don't know, I get them on a TV, go like, pay. So I have to tell my family, I'm going to go to the TV. So my family, I'm going to go to the TV. I remember that they were on the main deck at that time, dog. I still have the video, actually. Yes. 21. Mm. Yeah. That was an amazing night, Mobile Swana, dog. For real. Everybody was just jubilant that time, dog. You know? Dude, like, for me, for me, I was home. I get like it was during the night. I get mm. mobile yeah. yeah. I was home, and then I was like, there was a like there was someone in Ribile. Amante. Hopes more when. Amante. Yeah, I think I'm. A, and I think that she didn't. She do, finished fourth. Uh, hey. Just one, one side, both sides of me. <laughs> so from then, and then I was like, okay, like four hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. Like there's no one to watch there. You get it? No, it's another <laughs> dog. You know, <laughs> that's the good thing. <laughs> so like, I'm just leaving my mom and my brother there, like yeah. in the sitting room, like yeah. they're watching. Yeah. So like, I'm in the kitchen. And we told Indians are Nigel, Nigel, let someone know, Nigel. Kara, no, I don't get that. What's happening? I get only two. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Man, from there, man, I realize that man, I am man. Like everyone in the house just jumped on. Come on, we're not out of touch. Do like that pride that you have, and and like it makes sense what he's saying. Abu, I record like they are the ambassadors of the country. You know, like when they out there and like they do good, like they represent us. You get it? No, that's that's the thing that that people should understand. You know, mm. and the 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 the, the, the sad part about it is that you know, uh, now nah, that the not that the good things that I can make underdog. So that means there's less pressure on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just swinging around. I achieved my old junior, I did everything. Mm. Yeah, um, I'll tell you the funny part for me. I always tell people when I won Olympics games, mm. my minister yeah. was on the flight back from London home. Tipsy. Uh -uh. Uh, Patimo, um, uh, oh, yo, 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 the minister flight was a day before my final. Hey. Hey. And they even flew a traditional traditional group of the in the month. They even flew a traditional group of the So the minister, when I won that medal, the minister was on the flight back home. So when he landed, they say, we win the medal, we will go to the I always say that. So, yeah. So, you know. so Nigel, okay. Okay, no, like, before then, mm. What happened? Obviously, like your life changed after that. Yeah. Like you mentioned earlier, if I want to know the Nike or no, like yeah, I just yeah, want to understand that, yeah. like let us improve the contract. What else improved around you? Like obviously, the yeah, my family life yeah. improved. You know, we're in a better and spot. And you know, mm. we we know. I'm I'm. I'm Bana. Bana. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm in things change. I got in a better uh, space, you know. Mm. I'm like I move better to, to other countries, learn some culture, yeah. make some friends, you know, oh. yeah. So in terms of Kodaje, like obviously, I think I've seen or heard in the news where like you develop like Kodaje, like on the wireless stuff like that. Earlier, no, I can't remember. I was in a girl who 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 was in
I can show you how to do it. I love my grandmother who raised us. How we never know how to build a house to be able to bring everybody home. You know, build. Uh, you know, so mm. that we just become a family again. You mm. know, yeah. How was she like? How were from the Olympics? Ah, she was happy, man. She uh. was happy. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to come on a weekend. Yeah, like a weekend. I'm excited about that. Yeah, and then we'll talk about something. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Ona le zaka ke ne a re tiwa nthata ke fa re a a na ke na ke no la mo idiko la so my guy okay yeah from there yeah no kana go re lo re like the hopes are high mm. nigel is a star the only olympic medalist that we yeah. ever known stuff like that from there like be go si mo la go nna le race stream tse le gore okay eh yeah, like nigel like happy for me to like to the standard saying what like we are hoping him to perform it yeah. you know sometimes like injuries didn't like, occur like the strings of injuries yeah. there yara, yara. what was going on there I, I don't think there's any race that didn't perform to any standard of it mm -hmm. all of my races mm. if i'm okay good there yeah i finish one two yeah i don't have any races i finished that mm -hmm. the races that i've done finish mm. i finish Five, six, seven, eight. Mm. I'm all, it's either I'm good there, I'm in front or I'm in the back. Mm -hmm. And the race I'm always at the back. I don't think that I'm that less than three, four. Uh, mm -hmm. finish. Yes, in championship, I have been unlucky in my life with championship, you know. Mm. In 2013, when I was supposed to go do my first world championship, because I'm going to join a new program, you know, yeah, for South yeah. Africa. I got injured, you know. That time I started to be a DJ, you know. Yeah. Uh, I got injured, that means I couldn't run. So I got a step for the injured to get healed. I didn't do... I can't even say that because I wanted to just go healing natural. Oh, I was still young. I was not working. Something like that. I get a hole. Quick, quick healing. Yeah. You know. So when I was doing rehab and everything, that's the time I decided to work in the DJ. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah, you like we get to it. <laughs> uh, so those races that means that the injuries for me it's always been problem of injuries and I just say I've been a lot of one like I think you know that's what I say because if you look at every championship that I've gone to. Mm. Every year I'm the fastest guy in the world. Even going to Pisgah, first guy to the world to win, and then I go to the Olympics. I had in a collision with that American guy. Yeah, yeah. The same night I my remember. daughter went to the ICU. So I say a little mm. bit unlucky at the days that I should be getting lucky. You know, mm. uh, that's always been what I see. It's not like I, I'm, I'm. I've been struggling to do, but I'm always been the fastest guy in the world. I'm there. I'm running 142s, and like the last, the last fastest time in the world is 142. I did it in 2021. They didn't do it last year. Probably don't do it this year, you know. Mm. I'm there, so I, I think a bit of unlucky. Mm. Yeah. So is it not? I mean, you mentioned I'm that. Gonna <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, DJ Zoro. Mm. I mean, like you mentioned, Obona DJ. We got to know about that, and you received backlash a from the public yeah. and the media. Okay, but first things first. Let me ask you this: Why mm. the name DJ Zoro? Uh, I can't wait to move all once upon a time Mexico. So like Zoro is the name, like still on the street. I come from the street, it's all from school. And oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Why did you decide to be a DJ like at, like then? How old were you then? 19 or 20? I was 19. Uh. Uh, I was 19 year kid, you know. Mm. Um, you, 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 you injured, you know, I was injured, I'm sitting there at home, I'm, I'm already physically injured, so I'm watching, I plan on going to one of the race, I see these guys win with 144, I, I know that, ah, that would be a joke for me, I'll be there, and win it, yeah, yeah. so, at that moment I realized I was not only now physically injured, I'm coming emotional, uh -huh. injured, and well. then healthy, yeah. everything, I'm, 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 I'm making myself suffocate, because mm. every time I go to bed, I'm like, when am I going to run again, and try to see if his pain is going, so, mm. Um, being a DJ for me came to a point where it doesn't matter what everybody says. I'm happy when I put my head at the end of the, day, the uh, when I put my head in the pillow at the end of the day. I have peace, you know. Mm. I'm, you know, it was for me to get out there and just forget about running, just seeing, you know, I'll come back. 2014, I bounced back. I won all the races. I was nominated in World Athlete of the Year. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was understand. It was coming from inside myself personally. Who I was connected. I was feeling. Mm -hmm. I was feeling around. People around you, they might be there, knowing your journey, mm. but they don't know your battles. They don't know how you can win your battles. Mm. For me, that's why I kept quite knowing that this is my win to the battle. I did win my battle I came back yeah. you know I became Commonwealth champion last the, the, the year after that uh. you know so, so you being the uh, you being a DJ didn't it introduce you to a certain lifestyle in some way somehow in the affect your athlete 
to like hey, what is it like your athletic life i don't think there's or like a, professional career i don't think at that moment <laughs> there was any lifestyle i didn't get exposed to already mm-hmm. you know it's been uh, uh, it's a uh, uh you know you know it's a k you want to you go to the clubs and yeah, the court, yeah. you do I, I, i've been there in the environment you know yeah. but i understand who i am and understand my duty i'm an athlete i understand what takes they respect yeah. the sport you know yeah uh, i have my values that sticks with me that i understood i didn't change who i am yes we're driving at night which was maybe unsafe because there's a couple of accidents you know and uh, may I rest in peace one of my brother you know the big brother gong master played a very big role in my life that gong time master. man yeah oh. when i was dj that time i was traveling with gong master Le Mans, Chavis. There's some of in all those. Hey. Is yeah. Oh, okay. You know, so there was the all these times that did all these brothers that did they all cheese out or it you know. Uh. So yeah, you know, what PPs all the brothers were there in the game, yeah, you know, uh. helping me out there. So for me, I don't think there was not any lifestyle that changed. Even my team, they understood who I am. Mm. So they, they, they knew who okay, Nigel, this is what you could do. Mm. You can't be doing they'll call call me out, you know. Call yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm a cousin out call me out. I have people around call me. Yeah. But yeah, no, it didn't expose me to that kind of what gender were you playing? Hmm? Gender. Nigga playing a house by that time, you know. Quota. Nigga did a quota by that time. Ah, zero time. Ah, what's your team, bro? Crazy. Like so like, were you good on the decks? No, nah, I was playing, man. I played even when I was in Belgium. I played there too. You know, I could play sometimes. You know, so I, I played. I, it's something that I think if I could come back, I could still do it. You know, uh. but one day I'll come. You no, know, you never know where your life was interest you next mm. day. What you want to like? What's your kilo? Like, I get like you know? still a DJ. Your kilo. Yeah, you never yeah. know where you want to spend. Next of your time and again yeah. in life, you woke up one day like you know what? I would love to put my spirit and my soul here. Maybe it'll be better. And then, you know, like you don't know what wakes you up. So, how was your relationship like with the late Sasa class? No, we were great. We were great, yeah. man. We were, we were good. We were good friends, you know. And she mm. was she was such a lovely person, you know. Yeah. She's one of the people that are really great people that I made my life, you know. And so mm. on. Yeah, she was so really like, great. How long did you guys go on for? Uh, about uh, like two years. Two years. Yeah, we were, we were going low key, though. man. We were going low key for a while. You know? <laughs> That's a long time. Two we years. were good. We were good as friends. You know, I think we were good. We had a understanding of each other from friendship of creative from different industry. Mm. She's in this industry, the creative day. This this is our kind of the line is when this kind of so we kind of shared the knowledges that were different from yeah, aspect together. of it. You know, so for me, we we seen each other as like supporting, supporting each other. You know, yeah. uh, we were good. Yeah, That's yeah. Us. yeah. And then. How did you go to learn about her passing? Like, where were you by that? Actually, time? I saw her that first day. It was me, her, and uh, Mrs. Zerep and 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 Bisao. We went to get uh, some some food somewhere. Have some, and the first day, like, oh yeah, we saw you chilling that time. We just chilling. Like on Thursday. And the, and the Thursday of that week. Yeah, Thursday. So, of yeah, that yeah. Week. We were just chilling, just having no one thing, and then yeah. When I'm Mrs. Zerep and Bisao and her. Yeah, we were just uh. chilled because you know we were friends. We just chilled there, and mm. yeah, and then. I was in the I was in the camp then, mm. oh, block eight, and then I just woke up. I was took an afternoon nap. I so many missed calls, and then I called one of the person. I'm both like, hey, what to talk about? Yeah, but, mm. but then man, la, my soul rest in peace and congratulations to her family. Yeah. You know, they, they may continue, may they continue find peace, you know, yeah. and comfort, you know. Um, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, in terms of, <clears throat> like you mentioned, uh. Bisau there. Yeah. Kind of like were you signed under him kind of like you guys were doing s- like a certain business together or whatsoever. Yeah, it's a good band for me. It taught me the ropes, you know. Uh-huh. Taught me the ropes along the line, you know. He's, he's come as a mentor, as a brother, as a mm. friend, you know. So we were, we are working in in, in, in corridors that walked before, you know. Yeah. So they gotta tell you that corridor, that corner doesn't have a light. That one you can pass by through, you know. Mm. So they go this way. So yeah, he's a he's still a brother of mine that's standing by my side. He's supporting me. He's still a mentor of mine who I can give a call anytime when I need advice. There's this yeah. talk and belief, Yahori. Quite like whenever a kid mm. mushrooms and beat up. Bisa mm. wetla ba amotsa and then aba am introduce to like to the ill lifestyle. So when I since you like you underwent through that like is it true or, or false? As you said, there's this perspective out there. Yeah. Perspective comes from people that uh, doesn't understand value on talent. If it, most of it will come from people who doesn't. Okay, but how can you commercialize this? How can you monetize this? They won't tell you. Mm. I think for me, Bissau, because it's a guy who has been there in the industry and managed to turn whatever into money. Mm-hmm. If you see talent, he appreciate talent. For mm. me, I think he's one of the guys that appreciate talent in this country. Mm. You know, and people are misunderstanding him that way. I don't think for me, I never saw something like that. It's always been a brother that I go to, a brother that I always put 
me in the line, you know, that I respect and always respect. Mm. Yeah. All right. So in terms of, I mean, we always hear that the, <laughs> the athlete, La Lohan, are blind. Is it true or false? And how is the relationship like, hello, man? No, nah, it's, uh, I think that one is the truth, you know. The truth <laughs> is, it's, the, uh, truth. It is the truth. And that's my issue. I think we have a press conference saying, First thing that maybe done, maybe at least need to understand we don't compete against ourselves. Mm. We are a team to win championship. Mm. So if we compete against ourselves, individual always will win. The team won't win. Won't win the championship. True. A championship is getting good platform platform system, making support and support system. Mm. If we retire, we retire. Our value is more than get a kilo. We are going to get a overview. We are going to pay one million. We are going to get a kilo. 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 So that's why I think it's something that is there. Not only in my sporting code. I think the whole sports sector of it. Yeah, like the whole sports. That's the whole in industry of entertainment. Mm. That's the thing. That we're, that's why we're missing Wallah. it. That's why no, we're missing the concept. Say, you become great because another your, another product complied and actually help your product better. Mm. You know, you become great because there's someone who did this product, but yours, you make it more greater because there's something that we see. Mm. So I think I can do as industrial one. Let's support each other. Gana haritsa o mungwa na koraji baba ko utasile bone ba ile ko di. If we top, if we top guys at hundred. And then we move to 120. That means the guy who was on the go 100. If we move top guy to 300, we are moving like 200. So that same industry. If we support each other, the more one become bigger. That means the industry is growing. That means even your value individual is growing because you are part of the industry. True. But for now, really, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah. So like the relationship here, yeah, on as Botswana athletes, uh, it's not like tight, 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 tight. No, like no, that. because uh, I saw like at your press conference. Bedman was there. Yeah. So and then I was like, ah, nya me gore lore ba fana ba gore lore no like they support each other. O kana ke hali le hali. No, I do have relationships like in Albo now when mm. and but I said the whole the whole team and I have relationship and almost I tell you, seventy five percent of what I to see, either mungo class or something or something like that, or something 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 or I'm good with everybody. My relationship with them is good. I don't have any problem with anyone. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, recently, I don't know if it was last year or two years back. Mm. Yeah, but you, 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 um, you said that you're selling your medal. Yeah. No, before then, you pulled out of the national team. Why did you pull out of the national team? See, people can hear, mm. but doesn't understand and run with what they're hearing out. Because mm. they don't understand mm. the industry platform and everything that's really happening inside. Mm. When I say I'm going solo, mm. I never said I'm not running for my country. Okay. I said I'm going solo. I mm. see myself as a product that I'll put myself on package. Because I that value. So if you guys can give me certain amount, to be able to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Kostilevukana, the injuries that I went through, the costed days, you no know, food costed days, mm -hmm. this costed days, the whole team costed this to make me the star that is ready to go and win the Olympic medal now. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. what support system there is not enough to take me to that level where I want to get to. Mm -hmm. For me to win the Olympic, I need more support like this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you are PM, and I'm still being given, you know, guys. Fifty dollar on my camp a day or thirty thirty dollars something. So I'm still my parents fee. I can want to get paid. I'm gonna get paid. I go to the computer and pick. I'm given two point five. Remember, now I'm spending this. I'm every day Monday to Sunday to go and do this job. I can't do any job. Then I can't be the best. Mm. Mm. Now I don't even get enough to be able to get a doctor, a physio, and now I realize or not, Nigel, you are talented. Mm. You're there, my man. You mm. need a team around you to take yourself to the next level. Mm -hmm. You need experts around you. Mm. You need doctor. You need the strength coach. You need a, 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 a performance psychologist. You need all those guys. Mm. Which I build the team. And the team, this was the cost of the team. That's why I said, you know what? It's better go solo. Mm. And then I find my team. They make me the machine ready to go and win the Olympics and everything. And then I'll, sh I'll share with these guys. Say, listen, for me to get to this level, this is what it costs. This is why the men say I'll go solo for support. Mm. Not the national. Oh, like not the no, not the nation. That's why I still put on my the nation vest. I still out there training with national. I just, people got it wrong. But then oh, okay. again, sometimes you, you see, I'm because but one pizza Nigel. I'm not Nigel. You see, I'm but one of the sometimes let them run with the perceptive of it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, are you still part of the national team though? 
<laughs> oh, like at the moment I'm in suspension, yeah. but I'm still part of the national team. Oh, yeah. okay. that, that's why I, I, I would have went and run the world championship if I wasn't suspended. They oh, ran yeah. under Botswana. You yeah. know? I competed in that Diamond League that I ran. I was running under Botswana flag. Oh, yeah. okay. So how is Kwere, how has going solo benefited you so far? Or can I just say like the suspension in a effect of that? No, no, it it worked. It worked well because oh. remember when 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 in 2019 um. I came back, I ran the fastest time in the world ever since 2012. I ran my second fastest. I ran 141 again. Mm. You know? And then we were, we were favorite to win the world champs who got injured. In 2021, so us favorite to go and win the, the Olympics were there up there, we think. The performance was there. I was back again at the top. I was running fast. I was in, my body was moving better. Everything was there. The team, the, we could see the results. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. then in terms of uh, the, 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 the medal, uh, so it's true that uh, you said that you're selling your medal. Like your Olympic silver medal, right? Kana seki 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 Mm. Can you my dear thing? No, yes, can you my dear Oh, no, no, Skelly Sacrament or no, Mutati and I win a hundred and fifty thousand. I think it was hundred thousand. Hey, can you tell me But I did something which I feel like I deserve a little bit more. Mm, mm, well, mm, one. Mm. So for me, I look at it and say, okay, there is value on this medal I'm sitting on. Mm. So this is what I was supposed to be given. So now I can say, no, this is my money. It's on a lemon turn over it, give it a government, and then I can a pension. Medal like a pension. Pension, give my dear rats, I have a certificate to hit in the that's what I'm saying. Exactly. And then, and then, how is the response been like? Ever since you said like you putting up, uh, you, like you putting your medal up for sale. Government tiring because obviously, like for those who understand yeah. my journey, they understand it. They understand my journey. They understand where it might be coming from and all those outside people. But I've way came the Lord now, but one out there, one don't talk. Yes, it's our pride. But I'll have to learn a little like a lot. They got a middle like a new old heart. I'll have to learn a road. They understand them. They, the fact that the wiser give me the Lord now, they understand the value and sentimental of it. So why I'm not being given that value, exactly. yeah. So like at this point, a lot like the relevant stakeholders, the hard selling because like you saying, give me a lot as much as it's yours. I get the hard selling. I know more about it. So, but if I read it, I can. But if I read it, I can. Just quiet. My fortune is low. Hard selling. Look, I have an account to be released before it. I don't like the cut that he pulled what I don't like that national treasure. That is the only way he can get attention of these guys, dog. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you you that's a good move, Nigel. Mm. Uh, you have every and right is the only way like he's saying like it's his pension. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. If all these guys are not gonna show support and love to you guys. Mm. It's best we sell these national treasures that we go out there and get them for ourselves. Yeah, you know. Mm. And happy like one thing that I appreciate about guys like you Bo Isaac Maguala and the other guys like us. Yeah. Can I go to like you guys go to like you guys always speak up whenever you are concerned or troubled. Yeah. And it's not like yeah. Lara no huh? Yeah, but it's not disturbing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sharp. Yeah, I was saying that uh the you are Hey. hey. So like I was saying that one thing that I appreciate about you guys is that quite like you guys speak up, you guys stand up for yourselves. And it's not like you guys are in any way against the push or whatsoever. Yeah. Just that you guys love the athletics. Yeah, yara, yara, yeah. Or no. We need one, two, three, we improve we haliha. Yeah. You know, and one thing that I, I like about you guys is that you guys love the country so much. You guys respect the leadership so yeah. much. But like, you guys never like hustle or whatsoever, like, ah, whatsoever. No, yeah. you know, because you guys are the real ambassadors of the country. Yeah. Like you always exactly. say. So we know. are. For, I see our generation. You know, generation I'm because it's a generation which is ten years ahead of me. Hey. You know, I see for ten years they've been they, they build it. Uh, they 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 opening the doors for us. We came mm. in. We helping continue the doors. They they come in as he's about to retire. You know. So I see ourselves as the pioneers that took Botswana sport to the next level. You yeah. know? So we gotta help to say the support should then get to this level too for those coming after us. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, um. Zoro, uh, you get suspended. What happened there? 
I'm coming back with the bang for a record. There's no, there's no, there's no blue line or anything here. It's straight LSU. 2025, I'm lining up for the World Championship. I'll be uh. fit, the fittest I've ever been. No, I'm coming back. I'm still young. I still have age on my side. I still have my talent, my confidence. I am on it. Kibweni on the statement that you made were like, I know I support like some issues in Gabonidi. I mean, like, were you falsely, like, what happened? Like, on all something, so so because for Amant Le for instance, that time, one of the energy drink, in mm -hmm. a substance, in a little stuff like that, but accidentally, yeah. Like, when I unfortunately for me, I got, it's uh, it's very complex because we didn't find the source. Oh, um, and the third part is that it kind of like uh, I got tested, go 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 strava, and then um. I fly from Ostrava to Rabat, which is just two days. I slept the night in the Netherlands, mm. and then I'm here. So for me, yeah, test the test the high tally clean. So now I think I have four days sailor between the sun and the king, but I couldn't find anything. And if you look at the amount of white water teeth in there, it was like 0 0.25 nanogram, a single drop of anything that. So mm. it could come from contamination from environment or anything like that. Because we tried our best, okay, fine. Test B, take out, take all the things that I've been taking to the lab, they tested, we couldn't find anything. Mm. Unfortunately, but now for me to argue this case mm. better. I need a certain expect. Oh, yeah. A certain expect comes at a certain value. Yeah, of course. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm all on my loan. I already spent a million in the case to get to this level where I can understand what's really happened, to, to, to do all the things, the testing, the lawyers, yeah. you know, flying them, the hotel, the payroll, everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to that level, and then I'm like, I can't, to, when the quotation I expect and everything take comes, I was like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Pull out the plug, you know, pulling out the plug is like, um, it's, and then the, pulling the plug is not, they, they say, they give you admission, or do mail, or you know, yeah. which is for me, I, I didn't do it, I still keep my nonsense. I played the good card that I had in my hand. Mm. That was the only good card that I could play, or I could sign it, or I could one year, three years, instead of four years. Mm. So I played my good card, but I still keep my nonsense that I, I don't know, I didn't take that, I didn't do that. Why would I do that? I'm the third fastest man in the world. <laughs> You know, but <laughs> <laughs> most definitely. Yeah. So yeah, you're coming back at 2025, yeah. for sure. Are you training like now on your own? Yeah, we, we have a, a structure in place, you know, with mm. my team, you know, how I'm going to keep training, how I'll be fit. So nothing really changes. The yeah. training is going on like it's supposed to go. Uh, we say, uh, it's crazy because still one of my psychologists just said, hey, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to take this uh, two years as if I'm injured. So I'm, I want to look at them like it's injury. Yeah. You're training, but at a certain level, certain pace, you, you don't really have anything to focus on. You just train to get back. I understand that you guys make money so like it's like you suspended for two years, right? Yeah. So like how are you making money like during this process? No, I still have my dad's and other relationships that oh, I have with other stakeholders. Yeah, like okay. Loyal stakeholders. Hase. Loyal stakeholders, you know. Hase. <laughs> Hase. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Amos, you have a documentary coming. Like yeah. is it is it a Netflix documentary kind of just a uh, like a dog? Uh, we started to shoot doc this documentary six years ago, you know. Six years back. Yeah, six years back. And uh we we, we and then we have it. Netflix will be the the one we play to in Netflix you know with one mm. of the guys that are part of us so the document just to show that this farm boy coming from there and showing the possibility of coming from when you walk of life the challenges that i face mm. you know we need the first country on big medal 18 because my men countries are putting millions and millions of money to win their first Olympic medal so yeah. it's a story that you no know, inspired the world so we felt like let's share this the, my story with the world uh-huh so like when is it dropping uh september we look at september That's now because uh, 2023 yes what delayed it is that uh we need to include a little bit of this case oh. yeah oh okay so where to from here now nigel okay for sure 2025 you are back yeah like you're coming back with a bang besides that i mean how are you positioning yourself now um, going forward as a brand as a person, yeah. as Nigel Amos. Yeah. You know, can I, as an athlete, sometimes people they think oh, I'm a You know, I'm, I'm more than an athlete, my man. I'm mm. more than an athlete. You know. Yeah. So there's some things that are, are inspires me outside of running. You know, where I would love to put my time. You know, like work with charities. You know, yeah. like you know, I grew up as an orphan, so I need to give my time back somehow, and help where I could have could help. So yeah. I'm looking forward to be working with fund with with the NGOs. You know, yeah, and what yeah, they're yeah. doing, partnering with them through my mm. foundation, and just putting time because now I have time then between the training, so I can always be involved. Those kind. So I'm, I'm going to go back to my community, 
uh, for these years I've been saving the, the country at a world level so much, maybe it's time for me to go and save my community a little bit closer, you know. Mm. So I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Hey. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Like, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking Last but not least, um, Kuri, why are you so hungry? But Baba is talented. We are not able to do It's like Baba is not able to most of them. Can I go go north? Most of them. Yeah. But some way, somehow, it's like the facility I do go home. It's like the wrong kakwa ano nyana. Do you think that the facility should be taken there? Can I Baba try to Baba try I think the, the answer to that is what what is our development structure plan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. platform looks like. Then it will direct you. Mm. I think that's why. What system do you have for development? They already talk a lot now. We need to take these kids out of the city. Then you understand better. Mm -hmm. So for me, I say it's all starts from development being placed in place. Mm -hmm. you know? oh, okay. So, yeah, I think that's. No, I can't write it. Chief <laughs> 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 Goose, anything? <laughs> you like to add? <laughs> I, I just want to know something. We're still going to roll back. I just want to go and pee. Ah, no, no problem. You can hey. go pee. You can go okay. pee. Okay, yeah. Mar like Kira Hates, though. I'm going to add the home one. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Remember, Gums the Baba is the one who did the, 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 the like all the magic in here. Nigel Amos is looking good as well. You know, yeah. Chief Goose still and is looking good like behind the lines, you know. Check out Gums the Baba across all the social media platforms. You know, his Gums Da Baba. Back to you, Chief Ghost. Hey, so, Nigel, I just want to know something here. Do you personally think the Olympic body, that's the IWF, right? Yeah. Treats black athletes as good as they treat white athletes? Just from you, Helen. I think it just it, it, it doesn't only come to the athletes. If you look at it across the world, mm -hmm. the first world countries that don't treat are not treated the same in every way. Mm -hmm. So I just think the concept is the same thing mm -hmm. is that they're bad. All of it if you look at the most at least positive years that are from Africa, you know, and uh, and all those by you know. Uh personally I think I don't I, I, I wouldn't say straight there's a tech but we can see how, even in the world there are basic things, education everywhere. The first world class they're having it better than mm -hmm. the third world. Do you think that maybe uh, the, 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 the way we are treated here as athletes, do you think contributes to, to how we are being treated out there? Like <laughs> <laughs> I never like Very true, very true. You know, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta, we gotta learn to value our own people and exactly. value our own assets mm. for them to be valued in the worldwide. But unfortunately, right. Botswana have this culture of um, kind of seeking approval from other people first to value our own people. Mm. You know, as now, as now, South Africa, we are valuing our Botswana. Now, when we were there with them the whole ten mm. years or the whole time, you mm. know, without anyone single was saying anything. So we have that kind of thing. Why do you always seek approval from other people, celebrate our own people? You know? mm. yeah. I just like how you always give examples. Can you say what I How I pay the pizza? Can I mow? That's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. I understand that you have a very close community with yeah. uh, the town that you live in, go South Africa. Yeah. Poch, Pochostrom, in Pochostrom. Yeah, Pochostrom. Yeah, yeah. Where is that? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's in northwest. It's where they spend the World Cup one uh, good thing, you know. Oh. So I stay in the city of the World Cup winners, my man. Champion <laughs> City. <laughs> Champion City. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, like, how is. I understand that. Uh, the community there, like Baron Lama, yeah, dude, like you yeah. guys have a very close relationship. Yeah, I kind of grew up from there. It's like 19 years old, oh, and yeah. then I left there from 24. Mm. So it's kind of like I've come from that young boy to a young man in front of that eye. So mm -hmm. we connected the community, we're doing some community work there too, you know. Yeah. So they I kind of I'm part of the community there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is where you guys go to coach and like go to train and things? Yeah, that's where we train. Oh, like even, even to date? Yeah, that's where we train even today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can they? Your coach is he someone in SA? Can I well, uh, career, have three coaches. Uh, my oh. first coach was that one, Gina School, and then I'm the coach now. Where I am in South Africa is the one who I started with as a professional. Mm. So, and then I had the coach was coaching me when I was in the US, you know. So, mm. so both of them, but they work together for the better of the program. They share what they thought better and everything like that. Uh -huh. It's a teamwork, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Before we close off, I was looking for your fastest time. Mataka by the Copa on the internet. Can you zoom, man? Let's not talk so much. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. 
Can you yeah, zoom? Yeah, this one. Yeah. One minute. This is the world junior record. There's no kid who's 18 years or younger run faster than me. Still there. 10 years in a decade. Oh, like this is the world junior record. Yeah, this oh. world junior record. This is the third fastest time ever combined of all mankind <laughs> in the world, you know? <laughs> Give me respect, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that is uh, one uh, one four one point seven three. Yeah. What about the this one, yeah? 143.63. Like he said, mid record and all the time. One four three point six. Because it was the second time I, I met with Rhodesia after the Olympics, so oh. it was one of the biggest races where everyone was looking forward. Let's see these two guys coming together. Oh, okay. And actually, no, that guy beat me only once at the Olympics, a oh. part of championship. From there, the statistics at the moment is seven one. Seven one. I'm leading. I'm on top. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. They're saying here we're beating Rhodesia for the second time yeah, in the you know, season. Yeah, the stats are no. Numbers don't lie. People will lie, my Ben. I say, not that someone says, I know who I am. I'm out there. I did it. I, I'm not trying to do it. I did it already. Numbers don't lie. They're out yeah, there. Definitely. Records are out there. Unless my he's saying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, DJ Zoro, say something to the people, man. Uh, but last three, DJ Zoro, yeah. I mm. heard you talk about your daughter was in ICU. How oh, is yeah, she right yeah. now? No, she recovered now. She's doing very well, you know. She's, um, she's a happy kid, man. How uh, old is she right now? Uh, she's eight years now. Oh, so, eight years yeah, now. Yeah, I'm looking forward for her. Mm-hmm. And to be out there, grow up, you know. <laughs> Are you still with the mom? No, we've never been together. Can they, you we, see the one when yeah, you're Yeah, I'm still with the mom. We're good, we're good. We're family. family like, is together. she the one when no, you're in Miss Botswana? No, my, my baby mama is South African. I had my baby when I was in university that side, you know. Oh, okay. So my baby mama is South African and we, we're good. We're good as parents. We love the parents, you know, mm. we're good as people towards each other. Mm. We're raising a happy kid, you know. Facts. You yeah. went over city. Man, I got a deal. Sports management. Oh, yeah, go back. Yeah, I went. That's the reason I went to South Africa, not West. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, like, you feel like, no, I can't feel it. Oh, yeah, like, I'll feel it. No, I've been there. I've been there. I've, I'm, my journey has been, been prepared. I've been preparing myself for the after, mm-hmm. after sports, you know, after thing. But I'm just said along the way, the frustration we get in the sport, they make you doesn't want to be part of it like that anymore because yeah. you realize how much potential talent is being killed and you mm. say i don't want to be the guy who kills talent like that if that's yeah. a thing you know because yeah. man there's so much potential talent in this country man mm. definitely that is not being taken serious yeah you know no but like you guys i mean you guys are literally like a call coming into the podcast little bit like happy to be you know and stuff like that yeah. i mean like i believe that the relevant stakeholders live when they like Batla Ale and Ahoru no. Yeah, well, this Let us do go, one, two, three, this and that. And yeah. speaking of your daughter, what like it made me realize, Hore, Rona is a country. Tlaborinale ho upu mohol na Hore, Luwine kana le hetse number one. Yet at the same time, we have life also that. There things that it. comes in the like things that, that we can prepare. You. Things that we can prepare for them, just like exactly. any other women. Yes. I went to the Olympics preferred to become the Olympic champion. I was yeah. I was world number one. I ran fastest time in the world. I was ready. Hits, I won my hit. Same final goal coaching. But I, was I prepared that that day my daughter would be sick and going to ICU? No, I wasn't. No. Yeah. You know? Definitely. So some things you can prepare for yourself, but then, you know, if the time comes, some things are said, they might take you off. Definitely. Nigel Amos, say something to the people, my guy, one last uh, time. There's your camp. Nah. There's only one Zora in town. There's only one <laughs> Nigel. Unless you take a 2012, we're going to be. Hello, I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm going to be in town. But I, I yeah. just want to say, man, for these 10 years, I want to go to... But someone have always been supportive to me, standing there with me. You know, you 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 go by, you go in the streets, people see you, the spread the love. Of all, you know, someone always say you are where you are, not because of your prayers, because of people you don't know. You know, yeah. so I want to appreciate that prayers and say, you know, we are gonna come back, we're gonna come back, all right. I'm uh, gonna come back, we're gonna be all right. You yeah. Know? Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, we're gonna be all right, my <laughs> friend. We're gonna be all right. Lastly, what I'm gonna say, Samuta, gonna be, we're gonna be all right. What the Samuta? What the Samuta? Lastly, Nigel, I mean, dude, like you've been around the world. What yeah. about as an athlete? Yeah. How would you advise us, like as a society, as a country, and as athletes in terms of what you would say, the sport? I think we need to first start to build we see we have potential to be one of the world best mm. we need to start to build platform that will allow our talent and everything to be the world best yeah for me 
Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Some people might get me wrong when this they'll poke on my hand, they'll say that it can't give way. Hosting events for us, especially sports events, won't do injustice to us. Mm-hmm. At the moment, unless if you for, for you to feel comfortable to host them to Kano or when I or no, we want to give a java a horror of a role as in the horror language on the city sets in the horror. Let me go and see. Let me go and see. Let me go and see. We want to give a one that will not fool you. So if you look at it, we host we want to host events where our teams are not playing to that level. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. so host our son. We, we, we want to host now, like now they're bidding for the African. Our Africa, team playing yeah. to that level now. No. Can't we want to build a team first that can compete to that level mm. and dominate in that level before we say we want to bring this cup mm. to us? Build that facility, build that facilities that will really enable mm. this talent to be able to get to that place. Mm. And it's that to school, school sports, my friend. You know, if, if, if we not be developing from talent from school sports, we ignore it and, and stand there, go play the remains the professional. I hope that it's okay. Mm. Let's start to develop. Uh, for me, I, I, I'm not saying this to, to make anyone upset. I know what I mean. I don't 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 know if we have that kind of money, mm. why don't you just build a s- system around the sport that really will take our talent to the world best? Because we see a potential. Mm. Mm. Why don't you put it in s- proper school sport, top level, I think proper just, facilities? Just like how maybe, for instance, we are good with athletics yeah. now. Yeah. And then after you guys being good with athletics, the FNBB Grand Prix, yeah. you know, g- g- Get a lot like adding to what you're saying. Exactly. I think, yeah, yeah. If, if yeah, people they see talent, they see example. potential. Yeah. Now, rokona holo nela mi romana holo holi rasingo sinto holo ko. A ho roko to hone buto ganyana. Sora lute oke tele tsuai. Kwa na roka pele tete na ho utole sinto ma oka zinga le tsuai. Oka na buto. That's why I'm saying, ari pankanya pele. Ari ne li platform melo hori iyala wa talent ya rona to get to that level. You kind of I'm not giving my kids that platform to get to that level. Well, they show potential. So, I don't want to go to in the with sports that are part of it, let's build the platform. Let's build the platform for my ta- for our talent mm. to grow to be actually world talent. We can export world talent, not that word, world talent, but let's build where we export it from. Are are in the kitchen to rappel and talent that they don't simple. Let's chule la vato ra. We are not chule la la. the world to chule. Are you going to the kitchen to rappel chule? But to go to the world and to chule Ah, Najalamus. No worries, my brother. Thank you so much, my guy. But look at the hell. Hello, 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 hello. We are living in Bakuma Rovella, Rabako, Tomabako, Francis Town, Bako, or a boat. Sungwash and the Sungwash, was Sungwash on Muka, was a casim, eh? Sungwash, the Sungwash, a can is in the moon in the moon, two bone. And to live like a canangam, sir. Can I much be a little blind? Magbiao. Are we done? My G, thank you so much for blessing this podcast with your presence, dog. You are an uh, outstanding athlete, dog. Oh, great, Finally, superstar, I dream of yeah. meeting them, and thank you so much, Nigel. No. And on behalf of Botswana, I just want to say I'm sorry, dog. Yeah. I want to say I'm sorry, dog. Nigel, like a man, Nigel, logo was through what, and yeah. I'm, I'm sure after watching this, they'll, they'll feel the same way. Thank you so yeah. much, my brother. No, Overview is the name, and follow us on social media, and yeah, do the most, man. Chief Ghost is your boy. Follow him on Instagram at Witness Amazing Things. Back to you, Joey. Yeah, man, we're almost at uh, 20k subscribers on YouTube. Yes, sir. Let's go. 19.8. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Road to 20k. On other social media platforms, I know. Like, or like, whatever, 300,000, whatsoever. Thank you so much for the love, guys. Thank you so much to Nigeria. I'm a chief ghost. You know how it goes, dog. We ride together. We die together. Check out. You know. And this is how we sign out, baby. With the fr- We out. <laughs>
officially cut into on the Overview Podcast. Overview. Overview. Overview.